this worksheet, which shows us the Euler line, is from Clark Kimberling's website, Encyclopedia of Triangle Centers. The Euler line is the most remarkable line, perhaps, of a triangle, and it goes through the three points that we've already uh, talked about, x2, the centroid, x3, the circumcenter, and x4, the orthocenter. And somewhat standard notation, the centroid is off to the point G, the circumcenter is the point O, although sometimes it's also referred to as C, and the orthocenter is H, although sometimes it's referred to as O, so it can be a little bit confusing. So here is the orthocenter in this situation, here is the centroid, and here is the circumcenter of the triangle, and these three points lie on the Euler line. It's kind of remarkable that even though these three points go back to antiquity, that it was really Euler in the you know middle of the 18th century that was the first to notice that these three points were actually collinear. One can easily wonder, what was the rest of humanity doing for all those millennia? Euler also noticed that there was always a fixed ratio between these three points, and you can perhaps see that if we move them around a little bit. There's also a fourth point, N, which is uh, the nine-point center, which we'll talk about shortly. But uh, here you can always see that there, uh, there is actually a fixed ratio, and it's that the ratio is two to one. Okay, from HG to GO is in the ratio of two to one, and that's independent of the triangle. That's a fixed, beautiful uh, quantity. That's the Euler line of a triangle. And of course, there are now many, many other points that are known that are lying on the Euler line, including this N, which is the nine-point center.